What's up everybody, Cruel Legacy here. Welcome to my Perfectionist Ghost playthrough of the first mission of Splinter Cell Blacklist. This is the Benghazi Safe House mission. Uh, so we're going to start off looking at our loadouts here. I'm going for full stealth, so we don't need much in the way of gadgets. The thing that's really critical is you want to make sure that you have some sleeping gas with you. And also your stun gun. Those are the two items that we're going to need the most. Uh, the rest of my suit is specced out for stealth, so I can move around as silently as possible. So as we start the mission here, uh, I'll just explain what we're going to be doing. This is, again, on the Perfectionist difficulty level, and I'm going for a ghost playthrough. But in addition to playing as a ghost, I'm also trying to play as a pacifist. Uh, what that means is that I'm trying to avoid all forms of enemy contact. So I'm trying to make my way through the mission here completely undetected and without any KOs or enemy interactions of any kind. Uh, the idea is to move through without any trace of uh, my existence. Now, this first mission here does actually force you into a couple of situations where you have to at least knock out a couple of enemies before you're allowed to uh, progress further. So I'll point those spots out when we get to them, and then the rest of the time we're going to be moving through completely undetected. Now the biggest trick to playing as a pacifist is uh, knowing when to move quickly and when to be really patient. There are definitely times like this first little spot here where you want to just hang back and wait and see what the enemy guards are going to do. Uh, and you can see after they finish their conversation here they split up and this gives you the opportunity to just sneak past uh, unnoticed. So as soon as he turns around, there we go, we're clear. And we're going to move into the building now. As you come through this door, there's a group of enemies in front of you. You can just walk right past them and they won't notice. Uh, you want to move slowly whenever possible. Uh, this makes your footsteps much more silent and difficult to hear. Now, this table here is the location of the first dead drop item. Uh, I've already picked it up on an earlier playthrough, so uh, you can't see it there on the screen, but that's where it appears. As we move up onto the second floor, we're going to hang a right in through the doorway here. And once again, we're going to move completely around all the enemies inside the building here. Out onto the ledge, and you want to be careful of this ledge here, because uh, if you rotate around here, the enemy will spot you. You can see he almost, uh, he almost spotted me there. So you want to stay on this back ledge here uh, until he moves inside, and then you're in the clear. He's got his back turned, he's moving his way inside, so we're just going to scoot on around the ledge. So we're going to scale the building here. Uh, you ignore the first couple windows you can enter, but then as you make it to this, this open window here, uh, it took me forever to uh, work up the guts to try this. I was having a really hard time figuring out how to move through this room without being detected. Uh, but I discovered that you can actually, you can just jump in and walk right behind these guys. You just make sure that they're both facing away from you and uh, you can go by completely unnoticed. It's a lot easier than it looks. I'm in position, Sam. So we're now coming up to the first room where we're forced to deal with some enemies. Uh, you have to at least knock them out in order to progress. There's no way to get through this completely undetected. So I like to uh, whisper at this guy and draw his attention over. Uh, that gives me the ability to uh, move into the room and uh, get a, a better angle at the uh, remaining enemies. <laughs> Because this is a stealth knockout, it still goes towards our ghost ranking, so don't worry about blowing uh, your, your ghost score if you're going for a perfect ghost playthrough. Just move him over there in case uh, anyone else meanders through the doorway. But now we've got a clear angle, and there's another couple of guards in there still. Uh, three of them to be exact, actually. And uh, what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to chuck some, some sleeping gas in there. Uh, and if you aim for sort of the dead middle of the room, 
you'll be able to get them all with one shot. I've got my sleeping gas equipped now. And uh, try to aim for where the, uh, the hostage is being held in the chair there. Here we go. Three stealth knockouts. So now we're in the apartment. I like to move around this little side room here just because you can see that gives us a little exploration bonus. So far so good. Just going to skip the cutscene here. Now from here, this is where things start to get a fair bit more challenging. We're going to be dodging lots of guards all at the same time, but uh, there is a pretty clear path through it all as long as you're careful. Just remember to stay crouched and uh, move at a slightly slower speed than you may want to at, at all times. So you got to hang on for a second, wait till that guard is shooting over the ledge, then you can move behind him without being spotted. Scale around the side here. Now this part's tricky. You can see there's a guard way across at the other building there. We're going to zip line down as soon as he turns his back so he won't see us coming. And there he's turned around. And you're going to jump off the rope as soon as you can, land behind him, and then just stay out of view. Now watch him. He's going to duck down there to look at something in the corner and uh, that lets us move past beside him in through here. I always like to shut doors behind me just so that uh, that avoids drawing any attention from guards. They'll notice things like doors that are suddenly left open. I'll jump around the side of this building here and we're gonna go right past all these enemies here. Wait for the guard closest to, uh, to move past and out of sight. And now it's safe to move a little further along and hop up and head straight for this far ledge here and hop over as soon as you get there and then you want to wait for a little bit. There is another guard who uh, is patrolling the area and he's going to come along in a couple of moments and poke his head over the wall and just search the area a little bit and he won't see you unless you're if you're moving too quickly or making too much noise he'll spot you and then you've, you've blown it. So there he is. We're just going to wait for him to walk away and then we'll move past. And there we go. Now we're waiting for the guard on the far building there to turn his attention away. Now we can hop down. He almost caught me there. That was close. And up. And he's right there, so I'm just going to mark him so I can keep an eye on him. Wait for him to walk away. Now up and over into this little room for cover here. There's another guard just through this doorway. Now, you want to make sure that you, you're patient here. Uh, wait for him to move completely around that building there, and now we're in the clear. Again, over the wall, drop down. And we want to really quickly scale up. You got to be quick here, or else you might get spotted from the guards that are way off on your right hand side. Now, coming up just on the other side of this wall here is uh, the first capture target. You can just jump in the window here, bag and tag him. I've already uh, captured him on an earlier playthrough, which is why we didn't see the indicator pop up on my right, HUD, but that's where he is. Head down towards street level. Got it. So we're going to move through here now. Immediately go out this window and scale along the side of the building. There's a few guards patrolling the hallways inside, but we're going to be able to get around them. There's also some guards down on the ground floor below us, but they won't see you from here, so you're okay. Well, this guy's going to move off to the left, but you don't want to follow him in the hallway just yet because once he gets to the end of the hall and stands there for a minute, he turns around and comes right back at you. So we're just going to hang here and wait for a minute. And here he comes, heading right back. And he's going to continue past us once he's safely past the window. We're going to hop in and scoot around to the left. 
Try not to make too much noise here. And now, really carefully, you want to go out on the balcony and then scale down the wall a bit here. Now there's two guards patrolling this uh, this little clearing down below. Just waiting for them to become visible so that I can safely make my way around them. There's one. I'm going to use this car for cover here. There's the other one. So once the guy on the left heads back inside, I'm going to really quickly scoot around this car behind the guard on the right and up and over the wall. So there, he's on the move. The guard on the right still has his back to me, so here I go. Oh, that was really close, but I'm okay. Up and over, another area cleared. You can see I'm just racking up the uh, hostiles undisturbed bonuses here. It's just a great way to get really high points. So now we're going to scale up and shuffle along the wall here. The dog will run right past. And while he's busy in the corner there, you want to jump down and then run for the fence here before the dog catches up to you and notices you. Heads up, Sam. The police station's just around the corner. Over the wall, and now we're into the next area. And this is one of the trickiest areas to get through undetected. Uh, it took a lot of trial and error before I found the safest way through, but once you find it, it's, it's surprisingly simple. The two guards on the left aren't going to notice you. You don't have to worry about them at all from here. As soon as this guard hits the end of the alley, he's going to stop and wait, so that's when you can move past safely while he's got his back to you. Move quietly or else he'll turn around. Now we go up over the wall and we're going to hang out here for a minute until these two good, until these two guards sort of break up and move on with their patrol. There's a dog in this area and that makes moving around here really tricky. So we're going to try to get off the ground as fast as possible. And the best way to do that is to wait for this guard here to move past this building that's right in front of me. And then you can sneak in behind him and jump up onto the roof. And now the dog's going to start barking, but it's okay because no one can see you. And we're going to move along to this open window here, but don't jump down right away because there is a guard in this hallway working on the, uh, on the electronics there. Uh, his patrol will eventually take him out of this room, so as soon as he moves away, uh, you can safely jump down and into the next area. So again, you just want to wait this section out a little bit. Alright, he's on the move. See, I'm using the radar upgrade that you purchase uh, on, the, on the Paladin uh, so that my radar will show enemy locations and it'll also show the directions they're facing. And that makes this kind of ghost pacifist playthrough uh, much more possible, basically. It allows you to see the enemy movements with a lot more accuracy, which is pretty crucial. That is a secure interrogation room. So now we get ready to move into the police station. We want to hop through this little window here and then quickly move to cover behind this wall. You can see I really just barely made it through there without getting spotted. You want to be careful there. Now don't be too quick to charge down this hallway because there is another guard at the end of this hall and his patrol route will take him face first right into you if you move too soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for him to come around the corner and down this hall. He stops sort of just in front of us and then turns around and goes back. So we're going to follow him back down the hall. And he's turned around now, so here we go. Stick close to this wall on your right hand side as you move through because the room to our right is filled with a couple more guards. You don't want to draw their attention. Now you're going to slip into this room at the corner here. And we're just waiting for an opening so we can sneak upstairs.
All right, this guy's going to come back around the corner. So as soon as he's around the corner to our left, we're going to hop over and we got a clear sight to the staircase. We've got a clear line to the staircase. Now upstairs, uh, if you're going for the computer terminal hacks, there is a computer in this room here. Again, I've, I've already hacked it on an earlier playthrough, so it's not showing up right now, but that's where you can find it. And now we want to get our, uh, our last remaining sleeping gas canister ready, because we're going to use it as soon as we get through this door here. So again, skip the cutscene, and there's this little open window here. And we're going to chuck the gas canister in there, aim right for the center of the room, and there's three successful stealth knockouts. Move in and uh, free our, our target. Now this is where, again, you have to get aggressive to a certain extent. Uh, I'm going to be using the stun gun, so again, it won't ruin your, your ghost score. Um, but you, you have to knock out these enemies before you can finish the mission. Uh, I've tried sneaking by, and even if you are successfully able to sneak by, the mission won't end as long as these three enemies are conscious. So use your stun gun and just slowly work your way through. There's three guards, and you can knock them all out quite easily. One last guard in the room here, and then we're pretty much through. So thank you guys very much for watching. Again, I'm Cruel Legacy. For more videos, visit my website, CruelLegacyProductions.com. And if anyone has any other tips or tricks or other strategies to get through this mission, please let me know. Post a comment in the videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned because I'll have more Splinter Cell Blacklist videos coming soon.